Hey, good morning. So I realized that sometimes when my um, live broadcast is a little um, fuzzy, <laughs> uh, if I just walked in the house, it automatically picks up my Wi-Fi, which um, doesn't do too well on this device. And so I changed that. So if you saw a slight interruption as we got started, that's what that was. So I'm just getting home. Hey, Shia, babe. How are you? And you guys see in the title. Do you believe in what you're building? Like, do you really believe in what you're building? We're going to talk about that one today. I actually um, just got back. I went to pick up some paperwork for a program <laughs> that I'm considering uh, putting my daughter in. And I had this amazing conversation. And I met a young lady. She's, what, 18? Who was so passionate about her business. And the things that she did while we were in conversation made me think about the number of people who've owned businesses for years who don't have that same passion for what they're doing. They aren't making the same moves that this young lady was making. And I know sometimes in the beginning, it can feel like, yes, this is my baby, I'm excited. And then complacency sets in. And I wanna talk about that one this morning and, and ask you to ask yourself, do I really believe in what I'm building? Because when you have settled in your heart that you truly believe in, as in you understand the value, the purpose, you know, you have a bigger why in mind of what it is that you're building, you're going to move differently. It's going to be a completely different flow. It's not going to be a hustle, um, but it'll be a completely different flow and a consistency about what's transpiring. And so I want to talk about what that looks like. I'm going to share... Uh, with you all what I experienced with the young lady it was just like an aha uh, moment for me and it was beautiful to actually see so for those of you you've never been on a live broadcast with me before good morning replay viewers how are you you could be anywhere else other than here with me um, and I appreciate that I appreciate your time I don't take it lightly I always uh, desire to bring you value on these sessions if I say something during the broadcast that helps your business or your life, just tap the screen for heart, show me a little love, um, and possibly share this out with someone else who could use the message. If you find it valuable, somebody else will probably find it valuable too. Um, so, do you really believe in what you're building? If you've never been here, um, I'm, a, I'm Tanya Wilson Cherry. I am a transformational growth strategist. So, growth is huge for me and everything that I do in my life and my business and those that I am attracting into my business, it's important to them as well. We know that things will always change. Um, that's inevitable, but growth is absolutely, positively a choice. So things can change and we don't have to grow. Um, <clears throat> that's a choice that we have, but those of us that choose to align our life and our business in measures that allow us to grow, we reap the benefits right and we're not putting out fires when we have set on a path to grow we're, we're in a proactive space so we're not spending as much time putting out fires as we are putting out amazing things into the marketplace um, getting great revenue and being able to provide great things for our family and ourselves right new opportunities and so what I do is I help women service-based business owners just like yourself to brand build and profit in their business and I operate from a unique three-point perspective. I focus on abundance, mindset principles, personal growth, and business building. And they're kind of combined. So my clients get their whole life, which um, is so important to me because as an entrepreneur building my business, originally, a lot of my focus was on growing the business and not necessarily allowing the business to fund my lifestyle as opposed to running my lifestyle. And so many of you are running businesses that are running your lifestyle, not funding your lifestyle. And so what I do is I help my clients develop um, time, freedom, principles, and concepts in their business that allow them to uh, some triple, quadruple um, their income without the losing their time, right? They actually gain more time freedom in the strategies and systems that I share with them and earn more revenue. And so that's what I help you to do. As far as branding is concerned, I um, created a unique uh, brand clarity system that I take my clients through that helps them really get clear about who they are, um, who they are as a brand, 
and how they want to show up in the marketplace and this allows them to attract their perfect people uh, to do business with them uh, become repeated customers who don't don't mind paying for the value of their services and it happens quicker sooner faster because they are clear and speaking of clear um, and for those of you who want to connect with me outside of social media, you can always go to RenewFullCircle.com, <clears throat> RenewFullCircle.com, which is also the name of my business, because working with me is a full circle experience. And as well as uh, Renew being uh, the name of my business, it is actually the concept, the, the foundational concept of my goal for my clients. Even though they come for different things, um, the goal is so that they're renewed back to the space that we were actually originally supposed to be operating in, which is in abundance in every area of, of our life. So I was, um, I was at a facility this morning uh, filling out um, some paperwork for a program I'm considering putting my daughter in, and I'm talking to the young lady who you know is giving me the paperwork and she's so excited because she's talking about her daughter and you could just see you know how proud she is of her daughter and how much she loves her and so we take a tour of the facility and on the way back from the tour you know lo and behold her daughter is there who just um, graduated high school and is now attending a college a community college in the area and I watch them embrace, they have a little conversation and then we get back to you know the paperwork I'm filling out. And I don't even know how the conversation came up that her daughter was an entrepreneur. And so, you know, of course I stood up on the inside, you know, when I heard that and asked a couple questions and she said, Wait, I'll be right back. Let me go get some things out of the car. Right? And as she was she came back, she bought some um beautiful jewelry pieces and some nice really nice tops and she gave me a business card which I loved her business card so she had she even had a, her card holder even matched um, the look and feel of, of her brand and she's already picked brand colors and all these good things so her mom is just sharing how proud she is of her because she said I'm not entrepreneurial at all she built her own website you know just so many things that she had done so the business coach in me you know starts to ask her questions because in my heart I'm I'm saying I want to soul into her business and so I in my mind I was like okay so should I buy a shirt or some jewelry and I said no that's not how I'm going to sew into her business I'm going to give her another level of clarity because she can take that and you know quadruple any of these pieces that I would actually purchase and so I asked her um, I said do you have a target um, market or a target audience she knew that already she you know has a Facebook account she has a Facebook group so she knew some of the things and then we got into the target audience um, it was kind of broad and so I gave her a brand clarity session on the spot right because I knew that the value of that for her would supersede anything I could have purchased from her that day but what really blessed me was that she said I'm gonna go home and do this work I'm gonna go home and do this work now this in my mind I said this is someone who believes in what they're building so when is the last time that you were just out in normal conversation and you were prepared to have a conversation with someone about what you really do in the marketplace how you serve people whatever your product or your service is because so often guys we're waiting on that thing to sell itself or maybe we've lost a level of passion about it to until we just kind of take it for granted or we don't see opportunities or spaces to be able to present what it is that we do you know in the marketplace to normal everyday people I didn't take what she did as salesy or anything of that nature. And while she's having the conversation with me, someone else wanted a business card from her, right? And I know, you know, in today's time, so many people teach that business, a physical business card is no longer important, but I am constantly still giving out my business card, guys, right? Because I'm, I'm constantly having the conversation with people about, you know, what it is that I do. And it's like an organic, natural thing. So they may be mentioning something and then it leads into, 
you know, some type of strategy or, or whatever. And so this young lady was ready. She had her cards, she had items that she actually sells with her. And I think so many times we get, um, sometimes we get prideful. Like I shouldn't have to do this for people to buy from me or um, they know who's, whoever they is that I do this, if, if they want it, you know, they'll come to me. But that mindset is going to keep you stuck because there should be a consistent awareness about what it is that you do in the marketplace. And I still think business cards are very relevant. Um, whether or not someone is going to keep the business card, that is completely and totally up to them. And then I loved her business cards too because they were really, really simple and they really fit who I could see her building her brand for. She was even able to tell me why she was passionate about what it is that she's doing. So I gave her a level of clarity that's gonna change her marketing, it's gonna change everything, and she's gonna get clients quicker, sooner, faster. Because other than that, we're just pretty much trying to market out into the sea of confusion. And when we don't have that level of clarity, um, it's, it's when we change. You guys hear me say it all the time, we change lanes and you know all kinds of stuff. So the next thing that I wanted to share with you guys, um, and all of this happened on my visit this morning, so that was just beautiful. Um, are you positioned to prosper? Are you positioned to prosper? So many, uh, I work with women service-based business owners, and at the heart of most women, we want to give. I'm going to raise my hand. If that's you, in your heart, you just want to be able to give, and not just give, you want to be able to give big. Like, it's normally at the heart of most women service-based business owners. Um, you are so consistent. I got to get to you today. Um, how do I? Um, you can actually, so I'm trying to remember not how you can get to me, but which one would be ideal for you because I'm trying to remember your business. Okay, so you can go to uh, BIT, Denise, how are you? BIT.ly slash your clarity bit.ly slash your clarity and it will allow you to um, set up time on my calendar I look forward to it yeah and it's working the links <laughs> the links are are working and functioning um, properly because you scheduled um, once before and it was the comp it was something going on, on with the company so um, and, and guys, I, I just want to make a point because if you are consistent, right? And when I say consistent, I mean even consistent with your messaging. Uh, one of the, this bothers me to my core. This bothers me to my core. I see so many people who change their message. They change what they believe in. They change their truth. They change the whole everything about their brand which is fine because we evolve and we grow and we need to change. But some people are changing to suit um, what they think people want and it's not really their truth. And I, I mean, I get it, you know, you wanna get your product sold, you wanna get them in the hands of consumers, but when you understand who you are as a brand and you're clear on that, you don't have to keep switching lanes. I shared a video earlier this morning that I did two years ago. My message is the same. Who I'm talking to, my goals, my message is the same, right? I'm not switching up in order to, because I think this is more popular or, you know, because this is what's trending. It's because this is what I believe in. This is what I know is valuable. This is what I know I'm great at offering to the marketplace. This is what I know I do an exceptional job with as far as helping my clients do so it doesn't change it, it's not switching up all the time and when you understand that you don't have to try and figure out what the trend is and meet the trend I see it I see it all the time listen my if I could just I I see it all the time you know it's just we mm -hmm. gotta get clear on who we are right that's that's the first thing and then who our brand is and then who's ideal for what it is that we offer and when we truly truly believe in that we're not switching lanes all the time we don't have to because it is our truth what we're doing is what we believe and how we want 
um, to present it to the marketplace. Now, does it grow and change because we're evolving? Absolutely. Absolutely. But you don't go from, you know, saying you don't want to work with people if they need mindset issues. And then not, now all of a sudden you're teaching them mindset issues, right? You don't switch from day to day with what your messaging is if that's what you believe, if that's what you want to build. And this is where we go into who is your ideal customer? Who is really fit for you to help? Who is really fit? Who can you really help from a space of excellence? And whether that's the service that you're providing, right? So many, many of you are service-based business owners, whether it's um, massage, nails, hair, something in the beauty industry, whether you are an, an event designer, you are a um, personal stylist, whatever the service is, there are people within that genre or that industry rather that you are more ideal to work with. And when you figure that out, building your business is going to feel great because you're working with people that you're actually assigned to. And you don't have to keep switching because it's not what's trending. If you're consistent, if you're consistent, eventually the people who are attracted to your business and find value in your business, they're going to do business with you. And then you, you can get in, in your lane, right, and soar. And you can gain dominion in that particular space that you were assigned to because all of us have a sphere of influence that is for a specific sector of people. But anyway, that's uh, neither here or there. I actually, you know, help my clients with figuring out who their sphere of influence is, is actually for. So there's, guys, for those that... Um, I'm so grateful for the people that I get to to actually work with because of the clarity that they get. And that clarity gives them so much freedom, guys, especially with um, social media. So my next thing that I wanted to ask, and um, that was, are you positioned to prosper? Are you positioned? And this is what I mean by position. I think many of us are, are dreaming way too small. I just think we're dreaming too small. I think oftentimes the, what we're doing daily in our business activities is only so that we can meet the needs of today. And I believe that we were positioned to be a light and, and also a resource in, in the community, in the world. And I just believe that we should believe on a greater scale. And when our belief is aligned with um, a bigger scale than the actions that we take are completely different. So um, while I was at this uh, particular place to, to possibly enroll my daughter in, they were sharing with me um, that BBT Bank, now they did some marketing for BBT, but it was so organic. It wasn't like a salesy, but it, of course it left BBT in my mind, right? But they shared that BBT, B, no, I keep saying BBT. <laughs> BBNT, the bank, has a project called the Lighthouse Project. So they pick a um, something in the community to pour back into. So they came in and redid their entire computer room and facility. That they were the Lighthouse Project for BBNT Bank. I believe even as small based business owners and, and service based business owners, I believe we were designed to do things on that measure as well. I believe that our business isn't just for us to um, do great things for, for us as individuals or just our families or just meet our immediate right now needs. I believe that we're a light to the world. We're, you know, we have an opportunity because of entrepreneurship. We aren't limited in our finances and what we, in our goals or the revenue or income that we create in our business. And I just believe that we should believe on a greater scale. And once that belief shifts, your, your strategies do too. So what you invest your money, your time, your resources in, it changes, right? But many people say that people don't invest, but I believe people invest. They just invest from a small level because that's where, what they're thinking, right? Um, it, they're, they're just thinking about just right now. Now, I do believe that there are different stages of, of business growth. But I know that someone whose vision is bigger, their ultimate vision that they ultimately want to get to, their right now strategies are going to be bigger too. They're just going to be different. 
They're going to be different. And I believe that we were created to be able to do. And I know those of you who are watching me, there are times where you go places and you say, man, I would love to be able to just handle that right there. I would love to be able to just drop all the money that they need for that situation right now. That's a desire that God placed in your heart. And so your business is the vehicle that's going to allow you to do that. But your mindset has to um, align so that your activities and what you're doing align with the things that are going to create that type of revenue or create those type of um, even um, connections, right? That are going to even open those type of doors that you're introduced to the people who, you know, even if it maybe wasn't possibly something that you could do that you knew somebody, <laughs> right? Who had the resources for it all of it is mindset and thinking from a bigger space and getting in a different environment with people who have a growth mindset and they're really wanting to do something greater mm -hmm. not just in their lives but of course if your business is the vehicle you are the conduit so the conduit is the thing which the money sifts through so you're going to be affected by the money regardless right you're going to be affected by the overflow and the abundance but you know, you'll be a conduit for some of the things that God wants to do out in the marketplace. And so I want to ask you guys two things. Do you really believe in your business? And if so, you know, how often are you marketing it? Are you making connections uh, for it? Have you gone into a level of complacency or possibly fear because maybe something didn't go as well as it did before? Are you living off of your last success? Because sometimes we, we have this one successful moment and we live off of the feeling of that, but we're not aligned with it. So we don't see those repeated moments again because we're not doing the same things that actually brought that into us. Um, found the retreat form, so I filled it out. Um, please reach out. Okay, so awesome. Um, I didn't know that that was the avenue uh, that you wanted to take, so... I have some free time and when I'm off here, I'll give you a call and we'll go forward with that. I'd love to have you, love to have you. So I just want, my assignment is to allow women service-based business owners to step into a space of expansion so that those desires that are in their heart that they really want to do, they can actually align with it so that it, it manifests. Yeah, so that it's clear. <laughs> And they can actually get it done and, and serve their purpose out in the world. And I, I, I say purpose, but as a believer, we all have the same purpose as a believer. Um, if you go back about four years ago, I did a video talking about the difference in pur purpose and assignment. So it's really your assignment out in the world. Uh, but that, that's my assignment, to help you step into a space of expansion and new possibility and really own your value and your worth so that you can align your actions with it and operate in a new level of belief because our thoughts build our business what we believe how we believe it builds our business what you believe is what you're going to take action on it's what you're going to align your faith with it's what you're going to spend your money on your time your energy it's all here you guys know i say all the time your mind has a lot to do with your money and everything else that you set out to do and i am um a source that God has chosen uh, to help you align and, and do that. So we can do some amazing stuff out here in the world. Many of you want to do something even bigger than your business. You want to give. If if you're constantly coming to my broadcast, um, you are thinking on a different level. You just need to be properly aligned with it. But you're a giver, right? Because I attract mm -hmm. givers. And you want to do big things in the world. And you're qualified. You're qualified. So that's my take on today. Do you believe in what you're building one and are you positioned to prosper? I looked at how BB&T Bank was able to just redo this place's entire um, computer room. It's probably 20, 30, you know, PCs and equipment and things like that. They chose a lighthouse project. What if we, you know, made a pack and we said, okay, I'm going to build my business to this point because I have this this charity or this something that I want to be able to pour this much money in by 2022 or something of that nature, right? So anyway, that's my take on today. Do you really believe in what you're building and are you positioned to prosper? For those of you, um, Denise mentioned the retreat. 
I am having a retreat for um, service-based women, service-based business owners, aspiring coaches, and industry leaders, August the 3rd through the 5th. Don't miss it. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be impactful. You're going to leave with a, a whole new level of clarity, um, connections, um, and strategy that are aligned with creating more time freedom. I think it's important for us to have time freedom so that we can think, <laughs> right? So that we can think. Much of us are in a routine that we're consistently doing all the time because we haven't taken the time to really think about what we're doing and what it's actually producing in our business. And it's this repeated cycle year after year after year. And I want to help you to shift out of that. Um, those of you who are uh, attending, uh, you'll never look at your life or your business the same, right? I'm not going to promise you a lot of hype and all that other stuff, but you will not look at your life and your business the same. For those of you wanting to join us, www.strategicleadershipgrowth.com www.strategicleadershipgrowth.com There are about 11 spaces left, but I do have about four registrations that I have to review and do a call for. So um, there's still, still some spaces. Our host hotel, uh, the discount is no longer available after July the 2nd. There are four different payment options. Uh, the two-day premium is $9.97. The three-day is $12.97. There's a four-pay that actually ends in a couple days, so that four-pay option will not be available. Um, and how you pay is going to change because we're so close to the time. I look forward to supporting you guys. I'm excited. Um, I have been uh, really aligned with serving on a whole nother level on that particular day and um, just looking for us to have a great time in, in our growth while we're there. So you guys check that link out www.strategicleadershipgrowth.com strategicleadershipgrowth.com Do you believe in what you're building and are you positioned prosper. Have a super, super amazing day. I appreciate you guys as always. And I actually, um, you're welcome. Uh, thank you for sharing, Denise. I appreciate you. I really do.